When you write a fraction, there are actually words for the top number and the bottom number. And the words are a lot more fancy than the word top number and bottom number. Well, what mathematicians typically use is the word numerator, numerator for the top number, and denominator for the bottom number. Denominator denominator for the bottom number. Now what I want to do now, now that we know that the top number is the numerator of the fraction, that the bottom number is the denominator, I want to compare pairs of fractions that have either the same denominator or the same numerator. So let's look at this first pair. I want to compare 4 sevenths to 3 sevenths. And I have two holes right over here. They're the same hole. And I've divided them into sevens. I've divided them into seven equal chunks. And I want to see what's larger, 4 sevens or 3 sevens. So what I can do is I can fill in 4 sevens. Let me select 4 out of the 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And the fact that trying to even get to 4 sevens, I had to have 3 sevens first, gives you a good clue that 4 sevens is probably larger, or it is larger. But now let's color in 3 sevens just so we can compare. So 1, 2, 3 sevens. And so it's pretty clear that on the left hand side, we are, share, we are shading in more of the whole than on the right hand side. So 4 sevens represents a larger fraction, more of the whole than 3 sevens. And the way that we can state that comparison mathematically is with the greater than symbol. We can write 4 sevenths is greater than, is greater than 3 sevenths. Now the greater than and less than symbols can sometimes be confusing. This is greater than, this is less than. So this is greater than, greater than, this is less than. And the way that I remember it, is that the greater than symbol, either symbol, the small pointy side is always on the side of the smaller number, and the big open side is always on the side of the larger number. So here, big open side is opening towards the 4 sevenths, small pointy side opening to the 3 sevenths. 4 sevenths is greater than 3 sevenths. Now what about 3 sevenths and 3 fourths? So here I have different denominators, but I have the same numerator. And so I encourage you to pause this video and draw maybe little boxes like this and try to judge for yourself which of these is a larger fraction, is a, represents a larger number. Well, let's color them in. So let's think about 3 sevenths first. And we actually already drew it here, but I could do it really fast right over here. So that is 3 sevenths. I've colored in 3 of the seven equal groups. And what would 3 fourths be? Well, that's 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and 3 fourths. And so it's pretty clear that 3 fourths represents a larger fraction of the whole, that 3 fourths is larger or that 3 sevenths is smaller. So we could write that 3 sevenths is less than 3 fourths. So notice, same exact numerator. When I divided it, because this fraction symbol could also be viewed as division, when I have it as more equal groups, or it's a fraction of more equal groups, so 3 out of 7 versus 3 out of 4, this is a smaller number, which, which makes sense. Now let's compare these two. We have the same denominator, different numerators. 3 fourths versus 2 fourths. Well, 3 fourths we've already looked at. We can just shade in 3 of these. So 3 of these fourths. So that's 3 fourths right over there. And then 2 fourths, where we're going to only have 2 of the fourths. 1, 2. So 2 fourths is clearly the smaller number. 3 fourths is the greater number. So once again, we could write 3 fourths is greater than 2 fourths. And then finally, I encourage you to pause the video. Try to come up with a, whether 2 fourths or 3 sixths is a larger number. Well, let's color it in again. We've already seen 2 fourths. We just have to color in 2 of our fourths. So let's just color in two of our fourths right over there. And then 3 6, we've split our whole into, three, into six equal sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to color in three of them. We need to color in three of them. And as you see, we are coloring, coloring in the exact same amount of the whole. These two fractions are equivalent. These are equivalent fractions. 2 fourths is equal to 3 6. And as you see here, they're both filling in half of the whole. If we were to just draw the whole and split it only, let me do this in a different color. If we have our whole, so if our whole and we were to split it only into two sections, only into two sections, 
we are shading in exactly one out of the two sections. One out of the two sections. So you could say, you could say that 2 fourths is equal to 3 sixths, and they both equal 1 half. They all equal, so 1 half is equal to 2 fourths is equal to 3 sixths.